My name is David Heine. I'm co-founder of the SimScale uh, GmbH, um, a startup from Munich, founded uh, at the Technical U University in Munich. The five founders also met there. And um, we are developing a web-based uh, engineering simulation environment. Um, so this means that with our uh, platform, the SimScale platform, engineers and scientists can use um, engineering simulation, technical simulation in the fields of structural mechanics, uh, fluid flow analysis, thermodynamics, and also acoustics just by using a web browser. So this means um, they uh, log in at the SimScale platform, so at www.simscale.com. Um, they log in, upload the CAD model, can interact with it in 3D, set up the simulations, run it in the cloud, and then um, post-process the um, results directly online. And um, today I was joining the panel discussion um, about ISV challenges um, with these new cloud models, etc. And it was very interesting to me because we are a native cloud company. We are a, a very young startup. Um, we do not have the old challenges, and it's very, very interesting here at the conference to discuss with um, to discuss other opinions opinions on that, to talk to people concerned about the hosting, the secure hosting of, of, of applications we develop, um, ISVs that try to find their, their let's say, situation, their um, way of handling these new um, opportunities. And I think also we as a, as a, um, as a young company can learn a lot um, from people here and from, um, from the discussions here at this place. Yeah. Very good question. Um, I think it heavily depends on who you um, who you mean by um, because in the end the end user is not the end user because there are multiple different end users. There are end users that dealt with simulation uh, for the last 20 years. They have purchased a lot of hardware. Um, they can run it in house. Their their simulations or they are their yeah they they have their computing infrastructure. And then there are smaller companies, small end users um, that. Um, do now have a very flexible access to, to computing power and that can leverage now these new um, technologies. And I think the challenges are very, very diverse when you look at these different um, types of end users. Um, I guess, yeah, security is definitely an issue for all of them. Um, the next point is um, absolutely like the, the, let's say, adaption, the, also the, the, the mental adaption to these new um, situations and to these new technologies. Um, but other than that, I would say they are very challenged in different ways and it's not, not that easy to answer it. It depends. Um, so yes, a web browser always has limitations and there are limitations of a web browser, but at the same time there are also limitations for a remote desktop and you have other uh, disadvantages. Um, I think in the end it highly depends on uh, what kind of application you would like to, you're trying to, to deliver uh, to your user. And um, I think a main advantage of the web browser is really no installation. Um, people are used to it. Um, engineers use it, maybe not for engineering software, but for others. So they are really used to it. And if you stick to some um, user interface principle, I think you can leverage um, it yeah, in a great manner also for engineering software. But I agree. there. There can be other settings or other sorts of engineering software where it might make sense to use a remote desktop. I think in the end it always depends on the, um, the specific use case you're talking about. Let's say classical mechanical engineering simulations right now. Um, this means um, such as structural simulations, uh, nonlinear, linear of assemblies and parts, um, also including harmonic um, eigenfrequency analysis, etc. Then this is like the, the one uh, large part. Um, uh, most of our users are using and then the other part is a fluid flow analysis also because it's very very compute intensive depending on the model you're running um, and there we have yeah incompressible fluid flow compressible there's multi-phase available available etc um, and then some smaller portions are thermodynamics and acoustics but in general the SimScale platform was built in a way that it can deliver um, functionality simulation functionality that is somehow concerned with um, being yeah, or, or that is somehow compute intensive computationally intensive Otherwise, you can just run it on your local laptop. That wouldn't be a point, putting it into the cloud. And the other point is some 3D interaction. So there is a lot of 3D interaction um, in, in the platform, yeah, in the user interface. Not at all. No, we are not a, a hosting company. Um, we are using um, different uh, types of um, hosting solutions for different parts of the platform. So there is a server component, which has more, let's say, a static load. And then there are um, cloud components um, that are yeah, hosted in, in uh, cloud providers, in, in cloud, large cloud centers. Thank you very much. <laughs> My pleasure.